a phone fight with billions of taxpayer bucks at stake. Welcome everyone, I'm Charles Payne and for Neil Cavuto. Remember this woman? You got Obama phone? Yes, everybody in Cleveland, no minority, got Obama phone. Got Keep phone Obama in president, you know? He what? gave us a phone. He gave you he a phone? Do more. How do you give you a phone? You, you sign up if you're, in, you're on full steps, you're on social security, you got low income, you disability. Well, obviously, she is thrilled to get a government-subsidized phone, but now there's a push on Capitol Hill to hang up on that program. You see, it's grown from less than $150 million bucks back in just 2008 to $2 billion now. And now TrackPhone, a subsidiary of the company owned by a Mexican billionaire Carlos Slim, is fighting to keep that money coming in. And it's attacking my first guest with ads like this to try to pull the plug. Louisiana Republican Senator David Vetter joins us now. I got to tell you, it must be a little intimidating going up against the richest man in the world. Well, Charles, let's be fair. I think he bumped down to the second richest, so he is behind Bill Gates. So he really needs this income stream. I mean, we're really ganging up on him, denying him these ratepayer dollars. He's only the second richest man in the world right now. Talk about a welfare, corporate welfare king. Yeah. This is the poster boy. Uh, certainly. Uh, we didn't see him like this during the Carter administration. And to your point, uh, Senator, um, his company, they get $9.25 per month from every welfare track phone that goes out there. We're talking about a whole lot of phones and a whole bunch of money. Yeah, I, I think it's a smaller amount, but it's still very significant. I think it's about two seventy-five dollars per phone per month. And that's why this company and other companies are virtually handing these out on street corners like candy. And that's literally what's happened, happening in many cases with no controls, no real verification of eligibility, because every time they do it, it's 275 per phone per month. It's big money. It is big money, sir. Um, but by the same token, you saw, and I'm sure you've seen other videos like the one we let in with, uh, a lot of people are elated. I know someone, uh, a personal friend of mine, who's been unemployed for 30 years on Social Security. He got one of those phones, and he was absolutely thrilled about it. He said it gave him better self-esteem. Do you think there'll be any backlash? Do you think people will say, God, here go those mean-spirited Republicans again taking away these phones that we should have anyway? Look, folks like free things and folks like giveaways. I'm sure some of those folks are going to resent this effort. However, there are a whole lot more folks paying for it. Anybody who pays any telephone bill, landline or cell phone, is paying for it every bill, every phone, every month. For a family with a few kids, that adds up to real money for a middle class family. There are a whole lot more of those folks who are paying for this sort of entitlement mentality gone wild. And before I let you go, I think we must point out uh, the, the connections here. Uh, the CEO of TrackPhone, uh, I, he's, he just recently, last year, had a $40,000 plate dinner for President Obama. His yep. wife is known as a bundler. Uh, she raised at least $1.5 million last year. Uh, F.J. Pollock, whose uh, picture we have on the screen, we actually reached out to him. He has no comment. But what's your comment on that? Uh, it just really seems like a quid pro quo at the taxpayer's expense. Well, look, those are the facts, and he can't dispute them. Uh, this is the entitlement mentality gone wild. This is rife with fraud and abuse. And the folks who are most benefiting are these corporate welfare kings, like the two you highlighted, including literally the second richest man in the world. Absolutely amazing. Uh, Claire McCaskill, Democrat from Missouri, said it was also ripe for fraud, has a history of extreme waste and abuse, to your point. Uh, Senator, we wish you luck on this. This is completely out of hand no matter where you come from, and it's unfair to the taxpayer. Good luck in this battle against Thanks, the Charles, second, second richest man in the world.